Jake Huddington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Ben Debont, and we're going to talk a little bit about hybrid cloud security. Now, I, we talk a lot about cloud security mm -hmm. in a very broad sense, but, but what is hybrid cloud security and what's unique about it? Sure, sure. It's a great question, Jake. So, hybrid cloud security, it's, it's not about like a single new security feature or some sort of innovative new security service. What a hybrid cloud security is really about is by looking at all those core components that make up a hybrid cloud and providing various types of hardening techniques to each. So, for example, the way in which you protect a private cloud is a little bit different from how you protect a public cloud. You've got you know, different type of threats, different type of attack vectors. So, ensuring that you look at these components differently and separately as well as together is, is very important in providing a hardened hybrid cloud offering. As well as looking at those individual components as well, you want to look at how workloads migrate between the two. So for example, um, if you're using a private cloud for storage and you want to burst maybe disaster recovery data, you want to make sure that you look at how that data is migrated securely to a public cloud, whether you use encryption, various types of data loss prevention techniques, you, or maybe even making sure that it's classified, your data is classified appropriately. All of these things come together in providing a holistic and secure hybrid cloud offering, but you've got to look at it in its entirety, not only as a single component. So, in, in that sense, then, how is, how is HP looking at the hybrid cloud security in its entirety? Sure. So, it's, it's actually very exciting uh, working in security at HP because, as one of the world's largest security companies, we have access to this vast array of security resources. So, I'll just list off a couple examples which I find very interesting. I mean, we have our, our industry leading and flagship security products, such as Tipping Point for intrusion prevention detection and, uh, and also our um, ArcSight implementation, which is about security event monitoring, and of course, Fortify for source code analysis. But it's not just these security products that we utilize, we also have over 2,600 employees that are dedicated to security re research. You combine that with the innovative new security ideas that are coming out of HP Labs, our attack and pen teams that are spread across the country, company, and we really have the ability to, to leverage these vast resources that may not be available to various others in helping protect our hybrid cloud. And we can take all this new information, all this new technology, and apply it to making sure that our hybrid cloud offering is as secure as possible. So. All, all of those pieces fitting together, how, uh, because I mean, those are also used in um, you know, traditional IT infrastructure, they're, they're used in, in defending private cloud. How is uh, the, the hybrid cloud imp implementation of all those pieces fitting together uh, different than, say, if you were doing purely public or purely private cloud? So, Jack, I think you really nailed that on the head there, because that it really is very much how you do traditional IT security, how you secure your infrastructure in the past, but it's just looking at it from a cloud perspective. It's all the same technologies, all the same techniques, but you need to combine them together to provide that holistic view. So, uh, a public cloud is just just like securing a hosting company. A private cloud is like securing, securing your private data in your data center. You still have the same type of threats such as um, you know, uh, malicious insiders or, or various uh, um, you know, internet entities trying to attack you. So it, it's just taking all those different technologies and bringing them together. That's all that hybrid cloud security really is and it's just looking at it from every possible angle. Is there anything that, uh, that that's unique about the situation in in moving from? I mean, you're you're in a data center and all of a sudden you're in somebody's public data center. Is there is there anything that's unique about that that creates different attack vectors? So it's it's a concern for our customers. You know, it, it, it's you know their data might be considered to be more secure in their data centers as opposed to moving it to a cloud provider's environment. But that's why a very key component is providing transparency into the cloud provider's controls. And that's something that we try to be very diligent about at HP. The customer comes to us, we will show them how their workloads will be secure. We'll show them what sort of attacks could occur. And we'll ensure that they have our incident response capabilities uh, down and that they'll know which, who to contact in the case of an incident. And uh, we discuss topics such as breach notification. So the same sort of attacks may occur, but we we, we really need to provide that sort of transparency from a cloud provider perspective to provide that assurance to our customers. So, so then um, looking a little bit more to the future, uh, where is uh, hybrid cloud security going? Okay, so hybrid cloud security uh, for the future is very, very interesting. I mean, security, security isn't stagnant in any sense. There's always new attacks. There's always new attack vectors, threat actors. There's always new vulnerabilities and mitigations to these vulnerabilities. The future of hybrid cloud security is keeping on top of all of these. It's practicing all those things that I mentioned. It's conducting security and commissioning security research. It's looking at new security products and how to utilize them. And you know, one of the advantages we have with that is that we uh, we create a lot of these these security products. So 
as a consumer of these products ourselves, we can be on top for new iterations of those products and how they're designed to, to combat new threats. But it's looking at all of these areas for the future and ensuring that you don't get stuck in a single security model, but looking at the future landscape for security across the board and how you would apply these new techniques, how you will combat new attacks in the future. And that's going to be the future of hybrid cloud security. And you know, we at HP really look into doing that so that we can provide a hybrid cloud offering that is hardened today as well as in the future. All right, well, that sounds good. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Jake. Pleasure.